is Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be talking about slow motion. <laughs> Slow motion can give your films that really epic cinematic look and really gives a professional feeling to it if you do it right. But how do we achieve the perfect slow motion? If you want to use slow motion you should know what frame rate you want to work in with your timeline. If you want to work with 24 FPS, 25 FPS or 30 FPS. Some of the new movies are starting to experiment with 60 FPS or higher frame rates and it's pretty cool but for now let's just focus on those low numbers. I like to work with a timeline of 24 FPS which is that typical cinematic look, they use that in film, uh, so I prefer to work with that. Actually I have another reason of working with 24 FPS and that's because I'm using 3D in my video files. If I only have to render 24 frames per second it's going to save me a lot of time instead of rendering 30 frames per second. So let's say we have a timeline of 24 FPS. We do need a camera that can shoot higher than the frame rate that we are going to work with. So preferably your camera should shoot more than 48 FPS, 48 FPS is going to get you 50% slow motion because if you divide it by 2 you're going to get 24 which means 50% slow motion. And if you're going higher like the camera that I'm using right now the Panasonic GH4 can shoot up to 96 FPS but I like to record in 72 FPS which can slow my footage down up to 33.3%. We also like to use the Sony A7S which can shoot up to 120 FPS which is insanely high and you can get some really cool and stunning results with that one. The cool thing about the Panasonic GH4 is actually if you want to shoot in slow motion, let's say 72 FPS and you want to preview it back, it's going to automatically convert that 72 FPS video file into a 24 FPS video file, well, because I asked it to, um, but then I can immediately see my slow motion and I don't have to do any editing afterwards. If I import that file in Premiere Pro, it's going to be a 24 uh, FPS video file, but it's going to be in slow motion immediately. So if I speed it up 300%, it's going to be real time and then I bring that down to 100% to get that slow motion. For the Sony a7S and many other cameras, you will get more FPS in your video file but it's going to play back in real time. So let's say I have 120 FPS on my video file and I drag it into my new timeline, the 24 FPS, and slow it down that way, which many people do. Um, that's not going to be the correct way of doing it because if you slow something down in a timeline of 24 FPS it's just going to act like it's 24 FPS. So you have to convert it before importing it to your video file and then speeding it up to that real-time playback. So to do that is right click on your video file, go to modify, interpret footage and assume a new frame rate and enter the frame rate you want to. So in my case 24 FPS. Then I drag it into my composition and then I divide the original frame rate which is 120 FPS by the result that I want, so 24 FPS. Which if you calculate it is going to be 5 and then I multiply my speed by 5. So 500% of speed is going to get me real time footage and if I slow it down to 100% it's going to be slow motion. So that's the correct way of working with slow motion and now it's up to you to get some epic shots. Let me know in comments below if you have any questions and hopefully you like this video, give it a like, also subscribe to the channel for more videos and definitely show me the results that you're getting with your slow motion. Goodbye.